New York did Cole. Yeah. 103 for the 1-5, one 11, Elijah Mitchell, Taysom Hill. And a third. Send it through. Yeah, there's an offer on the table, so. If you want the 103, you're gonna have to come correct. I already came correct. Came incorrect. Came invalid. Make sure you get those thighs. If there's one thing we're missing in this office, in this office, we need more spread. Wait till Noah gets here. <laughs> we need more spread. I hope he brought those shorts. So we're having a little uh, team retreat this weekend. Uh, it's Thursday, Memorial Day weekend. JL and Simon from Front Yard Fantasy are here. Um, Alex Crusoe's here. Tony and Sexy showed up to work, which is nice. Uh, Noah Hills is on his way here from the great land of Idaho. I don't really know what we're doing, to be honest with you. We're all just gonna hang out in the office and make things, make babies, make content, make podcasts, make friends, make bonds, make memories, make money, make revenue, make profit. So we're getting together to kind of brainstorm. We're, we're, we're looking to expand the team a little bit um, from both a product side and a content side. And it's something that I've learned that I don't wanna force, you know? So I'm trying to kind of like dive into my network a little bit, bring in people that I trust and figure out how we can work together in some sort of capacity, whether it's full-time roles or, you know, contracted or coming in and out of our um, business on a, you know, on a need to know sort of basis. So that's what this weekend is about, getting people together that are kind of like passionate and looking towards the same goals and futures going forward. We want to see, you know, what, what that could look like together within the same walls and kind of bouncing ideas off of each other. So we'll be making content, brainstorming. You come through. Come on, big Al. What's going on? He's not, <laughs> a, not at all. Now we got to try it. Sit down. Almost, almost. You can't be next to me in the video. <laughs> try to angle it or it don't matter. I'm 6'5", he's 6'11", so exactly. no big deal. Um, so yeah, that's what the weekend is about. We don't have a, a ton of stuff planned. We'll be live streaming a little bit, making some uh, some content, but otherwise we have just brainstorming sessions. We'll talk about product, content. Once everybody gets here, I'll probably sit everybody down and kind of intro everybody, walk through and see if anyone has any like goals or things that they want to accomplish by the end of the weekend. We can kind of work together to do that. Because realistically, I think what we're trying to create here is not necessarily any sort of like metrics or KPIs or any number that we're chasing, but more of like a feeling and an energy. And that's what we've been trying to push for within the office. Um, and those things need to kind of come about naturally. So we're trying to put the pieces together with everybody here now, see how, see how it plays and then build off of that. So it'll be good. A lot of these guys have not really gotten to experience New York City much either. So this will be a cool intro to them. We got dinner plan. Uh, tonight, Friday, Saturday, I think JL and Simon are leaving Saturday, but maybe we'll hit a park, Washington Square, Central Park. Sexy, can I have my office back? Yeah! Who is that call with? Can't say on camera. He's being super sus right now, and I don't like it. I mean, your whole situation sus. It's good to have you back. Yeah, you know what? I can't talk about anything you're going through. I can't be here. I'm a oh, business. Oh, that's true. You, can't, you actually like, can't. I don't think put him on. He can't work while he's here. I'm not working. I'm just hanging out. He's just drinking. Yeah. He's coming here, drinking our alcohol, taking our jobs. Get him out. Get okay, 28 days. <laughs> Count, we're putting, hold on, put, put 28 on the whiteboard every day. We fucking lower the number. Uh, yeah, so that's it. All right, now give me the 103. <laughs> I already told you what the offer was. Let's see what we're working with. If you send it through right now, I'll accept on camera. For the content, of course. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be interesting go to trade I want to give him it's kind of a cool shot if this works the 106 just let that finger slip a little bit and the 112 yeah, extra in there extra juicy for let's me. get the 103 all right all right all right here it is 103 for the 16 and the 112 all right trade's been sent You're gonna make a live trade. It's we're fair. trying we're trying. What is it? It's not what I said. Yeah, it is. No. What do you, you mean no? You knew what you had to do. Sexy, tell him to take trade. it. Back up. What are you doing over here? It's the 103 for the 106, the 112, Elijah Mitchell, 
Deontay Johnson. I don't want to throw in Elijah Mitchell, but apparently Elijah Mitchell is going to be like the key He's part the of this trade. Yeah. He's the make or break. I do too. That's why I kind of want to keep him. It's too bad. If you want the 103, you pay the price. Let me think about it. Do you need a QB? You got five. I need a QB. Head. He needs a QB more than I do, to be honest. Wait, so who's trading up for the 103? Me. I have the 103. And I need a QB. I have Justin Fields, but I have like Sam Howell and uh, Jameis Winston and Baker Mayfield. Why are you making this trade then? Uh, just... Why not? What do you mean? Rebuild. It's for content. I'm ready to rebuild. Send a, send a fucking, send a logic. All right, counter it. Because now I'm the one who's got to think about it. If you're ready to take that, then counter. Unless. All right, here's what we do. You watching? Done. You son of a bitch. All right. Nikki Clicky strikes again. Welcome to the team, Bryce. I kind of blame you for this. I feel like he was he was close to taking it, and then you talked him into needing a quarterback. No, nah, you would have needed to come correct. I came so correct. Uh, you needed Caruso. Bro. Back me up here. <laughs> I would have taken the deal. I, I would have taken the Deontay Johnson, the other picks. Oh well, that wasn't on the table. Oh, no, I was just making up fake offers. What was the actual offer? It was the 103 and 112. Or the 106 and the 112. And 12 for the three. Yeah. So six oh, and 12, eight. three, they're all dead. Yeah. So Elijah but Mitchell. But I also. Was Elijah Mitchell I, I think I could have. I think if I countered with Elijah Mitchell, you would have accepted. I think I would have peer pressured you. I, I would have taken like my 10 minutes, but I would have probably taken it. Yeah, you would have. I don't think that would like. I don't think Elijah Mitchell pushes me over. The, I needed a second quarterback there, and I didn't get him. All right. So I'm just flop, flop fest. But. I don't know if you guys want to like go around and introduce yourselves. Is that weird? It's kind of weird. Jail? It's not weird. You're a big girl. Start off. I am a big girl. Simon and I own a uh, run front yard fantasy. So we do a game show every day, creating content, fantasy content. Hi, okay. Jail. We'll Hi. You want to go, Simon? Yeah, I'll go. Okay. I'm Simon, uh, like Jail said, run a front yard fantasy. Yeah, this is a terrible idea. Um, yes. I do part time work at Better Sports Network as well. Supposedly doing sales stuff. Okay, we're gonna cut this game off. We're gonna stop right there. Uh, I just wanted to get you guys together. Um, some of you guys have done work with us. JL has just been a friend of mine for a long time. I met Simon through him. Noah's obviously been doing videos for us for a couple of years now, two years now. Tony and Sexy work here. Alex is someone kind of coming up in the industry. I reached out to him a couple months ago. We just thought he looked good. Yeah, I was like, he'd do really well in New York. We need another tall guy in the group. We, we need a center. <laughs> we need a center for five. Bring up our average height. Yeah, I mean, all you guys are people that I kind of just resonate with in terms of being in the industry, passionate work ethic, things like that, and just people I want to kind of surround myself with. So I thought it'd be cool to bring you guys together, um, work off of each other. Because I've been in environments like this before, outside of the fantasy industry, but just in general around creators and people who are trying to like build their own thing. And it's a really, really powerful thing to be able to spend time together and just bounce ideas off of each other, like brainstorm and think about different projects, think about your future. Like all you guys have very varying skill sets, whether it's video editing or content creation or tech or sales, whatever the case may be. If you have, you know, anything you're trying to go for now, this is, you know, a pretty eclectic group of people that I think is a good, a good starting point to just, you know, sit down with someone and ask them like, Hey, I was thinking about doing this or, Hey, I wanted to do this. Like, what do you think about this? And Tomorrow we'll have like a, a couple brainstorm sessions where I think we could all collectively think through different projects that we have on our mind. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to trace back to like BDG or anyone in specific, uh, specifics, but I think just being around this kind of environment's really, really helpful to just understand like what you can do in the future. You know, it's, it's cool to be around it and understand like this kind of energy and these kind of people do exist and you could take it home from there and you know, it, it just helps you in the future. So I've been in this situation and I think it's, fun to create it for other people who have, you know, maybe been around it before, maybe not been around it before. So um, you guys will, won't be here for very long. So try to take advantage for it as much as you can while you're here, get to know each other, obviously. We don't have like a ton of stuff planned. We'll have the streams today, tomorrow, film a podcast or whatever. But other than that, we'll basically just be hanging out, kind of, you know, working with each other, learning from each other. If you guys want to start projects together, cool. If not, not, whatever. Um, we could just kind of hang out. We'll be pretty much just like going out to dinner, all three nights that we're here, them two are leaving Saturday, but 
tonight, Friday, Saturday. We got reservations and stuff. We want to go out afterwards. We can. If not, nah, whatever. We'll just chill. So yeah, just wanted to just like say hi, say thank you, say bye. That's it. Hmm. Thank I you. Thank you, bye as well. Clap. 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 Louder. Sexy, be a leader. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, probably not. We're probably just going to run it exactly how it is. I get nervous when I have to think on the spot like something bad is going to come out of my mouth. That, then this is the Especially perfect game walking around like this. <laughs> yeah, this is the perfect game for you. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's try not to think. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Yes. What's your superpower? Kissing my mother. What position? <laughs> Uh, wide receiver. What name would you have given yourself? Charlie. How big is it? Uh, extraordinarily. Who's the worst? You. What's the best gift you could receive? Uh, a come on, come on. A kiss from my mother. Come up with a title for a movie starring you and Bill Belichick. Uh, how Uncle Bill Stole Christmas. How big is it really? Even bigger than what I said it was before. What's your mom's pet name for you? Nikki. What's Nikki. your biggest fear? Getting more questions from you after this one. What's something you don't want people to know about you? Uh, that is way smaller than what I said it was size-wise. Got milk? Big. A lot of it, yeah. LeBron or MJ? Uh, Donovan Mitchell. What keeps you up at night? My Jalen Waddle takes. Who's your daddy? Except for Patterson. Alright, well done. Whew! Yeah, we usually have like a nice clap session. I tell you what. It stresses you out. I was, I felt like I was in the deep zone there. Does he get a lot of milk? I got 50 more questions. Oh wait, you said it has, sorry, it has to be the Specific square yes, to, to the get bottom. I can't just grab one from up and no. it'll and it'll go down. Gravity applies. Can I go with the? Oh my goodness! I'm so stumped. It should not be this difficult. Five. Can I go with the Colts and the Texans and go with Kiki QT? Ooh! Did he look that shot? one up? He definitely played for the Texans. Did he play for the Colts? No, I think I, I might have mixed that up. Is correct. Okay. That is correct. Okay. Okay, I'm going with top five pick, TD to interception ratio. I'm going with Jamarcus Russell. Jamarcus Russell's correct. All time bust. Definitely fits the bill. All right, I will go with top five pick and the Bucks, and I will go with Jameis Winston. Well, yeah, I guess I can give a brief overview of like what we have right now as a product and then where we're looking to go. We basically have three products. We have a membership, we have, and then we have two draft guys. One's for rookie, like rookie season for people who play Dynasty, and we have season long for people who are you know, playing season long, whatever. And they kind of all revolve around what part of the year it is. So, like the membership is for in season. Basically, people will get access to weekly in season rankings, uh, private Q and A where they can ask the starts, whatever. So that's a lot of like seasonal stuff. The rookie draft guide is catered to your dynasty rookie draft. So we have rookie profiles written up for every fantasy relevant rookie, as well as rookie rankings for super flex on quarterback, whatever. Season long is preparing people for their regular season long drafts that you have friends, family. So basically, it's like from I don't know. February to April, May, people are purchasing this product. Season long is during the summer, and then um, this is throughout the in season. And what we kind of want to do is centralize everything into one website where it's like if you're, and these are one off products. So you're buying the draft guides are basically like magazines. So you're like buying a book, buying a magazine, whatever. So you're buying this once, you're buying this once. The membership is like a once a month recurring thing. And what I think we thought would be most beneficial and what we're looking to do is just parlay everything into one membership so that people are paying monthly, but they get basically everything that we already had so that there's incentive to stay as a member throughout the course of the year. I think that's one thing that we've like, I don't want to say dropped the ball on, but haven't really put our head down and made sure that we made happen, like not having enough firepower during the off season, like dynasty season for people to stay members, right? And that could be having dynasty rankings, that could be creating a trade calculator, it could be trading whatever tools, services we want to do. It could be adding the Q&A weekly for dynasty people. Um, but what I think this does, as well as adding to what all three of these offer, is incentivize people to stay there all year. And it also helps us centralize to understand like how long people are staying members for, right? Like, and it's easy to incentivize people to, you know, we could be like, okay, we offer one product, it's just a membership. Now we know exactly how long each person has stayed for. Like you've been a big dog member for fucking 24 months. Easy to go in and be like, okay, you know what? Everyone that's been a member for 18 months, we could just send t-shirts or hoodies or something like that. It's very easy to like reward the community and everyone's on like an even keel so you know exactly how kind of important they are in terms of like lifetime value, et cetera. It's also easy to like upsell. When you have one product or something, what we want to do is like make the website 
this one centralized website. Obviously we have the rankings for the upcoming season. We have a lot of exclusive articles, whether it's just like the all fade list, the must draft list, like very typical shit in fantasy football. But I'm like, people like that and they want to see it, but I kind of want to like rethink it, rethink what the product is, rethink what the experience is, like do something new and fresh. Cause I think when I first, the first ever draft guide that I dropped was probably like five or six years ago. It was before people like did that. Maybe like the footballers had theirs out, but I like, hand curated a fucking magazine on a PDF website. It was like 200 pages long. And I was like, ah, oh, no one's really doing this. This was like really cool. It was like fun for me to create. And now it's not that fun of a product for me to make. And it's more like stressful. And it's just like, I feel like I'm regurgitating the same shit that everybody in the fucking industry does. So I want to rethink the product, the experience, and, and at least told the line of like what's actually valuable to people what do they want but what do we want realistically i'm not like romantically attached to any products or services that we have right now like i'm 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 okay building on what we have i'm okay kind of like starting the foundation from the bottom and like building this out as a completely new thought experience product service in a sense and that's you know like jail's here to help us do that <laughs> Sunday. We're still in the midst of Memorial Day weekend. Uh, everybody has left. Noah and Alex grabbed their flights slash trains this morning. JL and Simon, actually Simon's still somewhere in New York. JL left on Saturday. Really fun weekend. Had a good time. Got to know everybody on a much deeper level, obviously. Did a lot of good work together, made a lot of content. Went out. I'm tired. I'm tired from the weekend. I think I'm just gonna quit. All the intentions I had going into the weekend. We're, steer we're going in a different direction. I'm over it. I think I actually am leaving the weekend with more questions than answers, which is not unsurprising, I guess, because I don't know if I came into the weekend with any hard goals or tasks in mind. And when you don't know what you're looking for, you're not gonna find it, you know? That was a bar. That's about all I have right now. Overall, it was really fun. What I wanted to create was like a weekend that enabled a lot of people that I see in the industry that are heading in the same direction, taking very different paths to do so. But like when I was younger, I, I had been in a few situations where I feel like I didn't really know that that type of environment existed and it was really important. It kind of changed the course of my life, but like the direction that I saw myself going and I wanted to provide that for people that maybe haven't had it or have had it, but can do that in a way that I think benefits all of us. Um, so everyone that was in the office over the weekend is someone that I think is going to contribute to our brand and our company in the near future. In what capacity, I'm not really sure yet. These are things I have to go over. But I, but I meant that I felt like I left the weekend with probably more questions than answers. Cause I know I woke up like in the middle of the night, just kind of like my brain just started going, thinking of different things that kind of hit me throughout the weekend. And I don't journal often, but I did. I have been for the last like hour or so, just like getting my thoughts out on paper, is something that helps me when I'm, when I feel like I have a lot of conflicting thoughts just like flying around. I feel like I need to get it out on paper to start to th see things in like a bigger picture landscape. And it helps me feel more comfortable or concrete with like what my thoughts are. Cause a lot of times you just feel a little bit out of control of your thoughts when there's so many and they're all varying. I'm thinking about it from like a person to person standpoint. Cause we have a lot of moving parts right now within the people that were here and like the direction of our company right now that I need to figure out 
relatively quickly because summer, uh, by the time you guys see this, it's almost June 1st. So we need to start tidying things up quickly. And now sexual Patterson's getting deported again. Now we got to figure that out because yeah, I don't know. There's a lot to figure out right now. Overall, I had a great weekend. Like this is not, this is not a negative, like, oh, you know, um, me thinking about these things are what I enjoy about business. They're like complex problems that we need to figure out from a strategic standpoint of like the way we're looking at things over the next you know year, two years, three years, five years, but also over the next week, three weeks, five weeks. Um, like Noah's taking the month off of, J of June for content because he's studying for the LSATs. I'm gonna be gone for a week in June as well. So now I'm thinking of like, this is an important time of the year. How do we make sure that we're still delivering the content? Product wise, we have a lot of stuff that we need to figure out. Yeah, a lot to figure out. Tony, you have fun this weekend? <laughs> I had a good time, yeah. Good. Do you get any footage from anywhere? Yeah, a little bit. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do better. What do you mean? You gotta do better. Everyone's just gotta do better. We all gotta do better. We all have to do better. You know, you did good, but we have to do better. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just, I got no more. I got no more good thoughts. I just ate too much, too much fried food, too, too much tequila. My brain's like uh, a little, it's like we got, like jelly is kind of mucking up all the pathways. The connection between the brain and the mouth, a little slow right now. All right, well, yeah, there's some things that I can't really talk about yet on camera because we're still trying to figure them out and finalize things. But within the next couple of weeks, we will have, I think, uh, some really awesome announcements and, and clarity on where we're going. Excited to share them with you guys at that point when, you know, when I'm, and we're back but overall I just I think like if I had to leave you with anything it's just, just Tony's just got to do better <laughs> just got to do better <laughs> cut <laughs>